Hello, I'm Daniel Carwile, and this is the tenor video on cotton patch rag. Cotton patch rag, standard tin, lots of people know it, so it can be played in bluegrass circles and contest style circles, and the chord progression tends to be pretty much the same in both traditions, okay? So, remember, as you, if you've looked at some of the other videos, the basic thing my right hand's doing is uh, just one and two and three and four and down up down up down up down up and I'm accenting two and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and some people go a more of a swing style approach on on cotton on cotton patch rag some people don't uh, more of a swing style would be in addition to that right hand groove and I've mentioned this on my on Sweet Georgia Brown and little and Lady, be, Lady Be Good videos it just be all downs down 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 or down, down, up, down, down, up, which is sock, 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 sock. That would be another way of, of varying the right hand, and another way to vary the right hand would be that, uh, basically, the rhythm of a double shuffle on the violin, which is, and I've mentioned this in other videos as well, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And again, without me talking. that is is just the fanning one and two and three and four and it's just a, it's where I'm putting the accents that create that hemiola or syncopated type sound. And I do use that personally on cotton patch rag. So in cotton patch rag is basically the same progression over and over and over in C. So I'll give you several different ways to play this. to uh, play cotton patch. So I, I played around with the idea of letting the strum ring and then also cutting it off, okay? Which is the all those different grooves I explained earlier with the right hand. And sometimes I'll do little, and I've said this in other videos, what I call heartbeats, where I just relieve the string pressure off the fret. That's just uh, what I call to make the note dry and not wet. It's to make it more staccato and cut it off short just for an effect. And then, and like you noticed at the end, I cut off that chord by just simply draping my uh, pinky over the strings. Okay, so that's a, another way we can uh, put a rest in or create a staccato. Okay, so cotton patch drag is a great tune. You'll have a lot of fun with it, uh, and you can vary the rhythms with the right hand, you can vary the chord progressions, and so, and you don't have to play it exactly like I just played it, I mean, I play it differently every time, but if you'll get close to what I just did, you'll have several different ways and variations and grooves to uh, fool around with and have fun with as you play this great tune, Cotton Patch Rag. 